guys, it is Mega B here, and today I'm doing another TF Chats video. I got a lot to talk about, and I want to talk about them, so uh, let's get started. Today I'm going to be talking about why Transformers Rescue Bots is personally my favorite. There's a lot of reasons. There's some things I can't explain because it's just it just is. I'm just going to go tell you guys why it's my favorite because there's a lot of people been asking me recently why is your favorite compared to Prime or Animated? Why do you like this show that's made for preschoolers? Better than a show that's made for like adults. I'll tell you why. I remember hearing about this new sh Transformers show that was gonna premiere like early in the morning. The first episode came on, we see Cody on his butt. Dad says, pull over Cody Burns. Like, I am sold. I instantly fell in love with Cody. Chief Burns was awesome. I didn't know who they were having on the roster for Transformer characters. I mean, obviously Optimus and Bumblebee were kind of a guarantee because like they're in every show. And no, I didn't know anything. I just knew there was a new show and I was watching it. If Charlie Burns go down to that bunker and you see these four Autobots, they're like a protoform. I don't know who any of these protoforms are. As soon as Blades came up, I instantly fell in love with him. He is everything. People tell me I'm like the embodiment of Blade. I'll take it. I love him to death. And when trans scanning for their vehicles that are in right in front of them, Blades is left with the helicopter. Optimus is like, your choice seems to be made for you, Blades. And then Boulder's like, he's afraid of heights. That is gonna come up a lot in the show, and I am excited. These were four new bots that I didn't even know before. Go through the episodes, you meet Doc Green, you meet Frankie, and I love them all. Of course, it's always the little kid that gets to like meet the bots first. And it was so nice. Cody wasn't like scared, he's like, I'm gonna show you around Griffin Rock. I'm gonna show you around the town. The other bots were like fascinated. Boulder was fascinated by like art and the history and Chase was interested in all like the police things. And Blade just like, I wanna be famous. <laughs> and then Hitler was like, get me the fuck out of here. I don't want anything to do with these people. Heatwave's gonna be that stubborn boy. Heatwave is like, it was gonna be like TFP Ratchet and he kind of was. As the season went on, I just, I fell in love with these characters. And then Optimus would come in once in a while. Had some really good episodes like with the dinosaur and that's how all the bots kind of worked with their human partners together. It was like when Rex the museum, like dinosaur went out of control. Cody was like, just give them a chance guys. Like they're not that bad. I love all the humans, even Miles and uh, I don't know his other brother. Those two were stupid, but I loved them. Dr. Morocco, oh my God. For a preschool show, Dr. Morocco was pretty well done villain. He had his reasons for doing it. Sometimes you didn't agree with him. His design was cool, like the spectacle. I liked that. They're like, I'm so high in my day. Oh, it was just oh, so good. As the season progressed, season one and two were really good. Like we had Bumblebee come in and he had that whole thing where like Blades is like, I'm such a Bumblebee fangirl. And I'm like, yes, I ship it. Bumblebee came in, it was great. It just, oh. Season 3 came around and these two new bots came and we have more. I love for Blur the moment we met him and he just starts going around hugging people. He hugs Chase and he's like, Thank you for bringing me back to life. He was such a little shit, but he was a great salvage and his thinking that everything has a purpose. Everything is a treasure. Someone's garbage is my treasure. He looked at garbage as like, a there was potential there. And I was like, that's, oh, Salvage, you're so sweet. <laughs> More into the episode. Cody's trying to like be Blur's partner, but like not force him into anything. Cause like, I want Blur to like get to know Earth. And I don't want anything to do with Earth. I wanna go to, I wanna go to Velocitron and race. She does get to finally do in Transformers Cyberverse. It's just, it's just so wonderful. Season three is just so good. Season three is so good. And then I think there was a gap between when season three ended and when season four started. There was like a time gap because you saw in the previews that Cody was older. The, at the beginning of season four, I thought he was maybe like 14, 15. Cause then like, I thought in the first three seasons he was like maybe 10, 11. 12, now he's like 14, 15-ish is what I thought in my head. The beginning of season four starts off like the beginning of season one. And I'm like, now it's the season four Rescue Bots was the last season. I was like, no! With the amount of episodes 
episodes in season four. It is the longest running Transformer show. It even beat G1 for longest running Transformer show, longest episodes. Their episodes were so good. Riders of Midwinter, that episode, better to give than to receive. Like when they're doing that montage of finding out that Mrs. Nearlander has been the rider of Midwinter for so long in Griffin Rock, the rescue bots go out and deliver the bread to all the people in Griffin Rock, and there's this beautiful, like, song playing. And every time I hear it, I tear up. Because it's not just a show for preschoolers, also a show teaching you a lesson, also showing you heart. It's got great characters that have faults, but also you come to love these characters. Oh, he wants to get off Earth and go to Velocitron, but through the help of the rescue bots and the Burns family, he comes to realize that, hey, Earth is not so bad. It's got cool stuff here too. Knowledge finds the beauty in, in trash. Like, Heatwave even admits that humans aren't that bad. They were doing the crossover episodes, and then you finally actually saw the crossover episodes where Sideswipe came to... Sideswipe, yeah. We saw Sideswipe in Rescue Bots, and I was like, Oh my god! Oh my god, Sideswipe's here! But Sideswipe showed up in Rescue Bots, and him and Blur kind of, like, teamed up. And that's when I started mega shipping Side Blur so hard. So cool to see Sideswipe there. And just to interact with Blur, and then Sideswipe was like, hey, you should come for a day and help out with Team B. When you were watching Robots in Disguise Season 3, oh, look who it is! Blur showed up! Bumblebee co shows up in Season 4, and he's like, surprise, I have a voice! Blaze is like, what's this got a voice? You know, Blaze, you should come, like, team up with me and my team. And Blaze is like, maybe, and I'm like, can we see that? We never saw it in R.I.D. It was sad, but at least we got Blur to show up. There's so many good episodes. Like, season four was kind of like, this is the last season, we gotta go out with a bang. And they did. The last two episodes of season four were, we thought the rescue bots were gonna die. Like, I, I know it's a show made for preschoolers, but I literally thought them giving all their energy on to save Griffin Rock the island, I thought they were literally gonna die. Like, no. No. We got Blur surfing on a surfboard. I'm like, you go Blur, you be you. Season three was all about like dinosaurs and they all got dino forms. So they were now triple changers. Blades was a pterodactyl. Chase was a stegosaurus. Heatwave was a long neck. It was really funny. Boulder was a triceratops. And of course, Optimus Prime was a Tyrannosaurus Rex because he's the man. Even Quirrell Cory, I really, really liked him. He was an F for trying to like go after all the rest of bots. I'm like, not your property. But he was just such a good villain. I loved Quirrell Cory. I wanted to see more of him. Even Mrs. Nederlander, I'm like, how many times has Mr. Pettipaws gotten stuck up in that freaking tree? Like, put a leash on your cat. Like, I couldn't like it matter because I'm like, you were the one that brought about that beautiful Brighters of Midwinter episode and like you still care about the rescue bots. The fact that like they finally found out that the rescue bots were alien robots in season four in the beginning and the whole town was like, I'm okay with it. And then you got that freaking kid. The rescue bots are bad. Sit down. They are not bad. They've been protecting your town for how many seasons before you even knew they were aliens, okay? Like, got so much heart. The stories keep you guessing. The villains are really fun. <laughs> Cause they're not super super evil. Not like um, Silas in Prime, but they're 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 entertaining villains. And the whole Burns, I love all the Burns. Even Cade, Uncle Wildro, I love <laughs> Mrs. Needle. <laughs> Look at the animation from season one to season four. It stepped up. It was so good. Transformation sequences were cool. Like when Blur transforms, he like throws himself in the air and his feet transform first. He lays on his back and he just like jumps and transforms. Kind of like how Jazz does in G1 where he just like jumps and like he curls up into a cocoon. His arms go in front and his head goes down. It's so cool! Top of that, he wave is like a quadruple changer. He's got his bot mode, his fire truck mode, he's got dino mode, and he's got boat mode. <laughs> Are you a god? Are you Primus? Every time there would be the description for a new Rescue Bots episode, and it would be like, a new bot joins the team, or an old friend of Optimus joins the team, and I'm like, is it Ratchet? Is it Ratchet? Is it Bulkhead? Is it RC? Is it Smokescreen? I was, I was, I kept guessing. I was wrong every time. The first time, it was, no, not Sea Spray. It was, I forgot his name. What's his name? The sea captain.
captain guy. He was like the one that had the boat, that was talking sh blades and off. He had Servo as a pet. Hold the phone, I need to Google this. I need to know who it is like right now. High Tide, it's High Tide. I knew it was something to do with the ocean. Like High Tide, like after he stopped being a jerk. You guys don't have great sea rescue training, but like he has been taking care of his team for how long? I think he's okay. He started to grow on me. High Tide, dude. You're also here to learn too. You're not just here to teach the rescue bots ocean rescues. You're here to learn shit too. That like humans are not that bad. Like bro. The episode Need for Speed, which I think is still my favorite episode to this day. Like Transformers Prime had a really cool like intro song with like a transformation sequence. Rescue bots had their own theme song. I just want to start singing the song. A routine patrol with four bots in space. Years later awoke in a strange place, Earth was their home. Now Annie in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect, live in the world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your ally. Others remain robots in skies, rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Humans in need, heroes indeed, rescue bots, roll to the rescue. With Cody to guide them and show them the way, the rescue bots will be saving the day. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Rescue bots? It's like, it kind of was like a rap when they sing it. It's not a rap but it kind of goes like a rap. And sometimes I couldn't understand what the guy was saying because he'd go like, I don't know, like he'd go really fast. I can like sing it nonstop. Like there's been many episodes where my sister would be in the living room with me and the theme song would start playing and we'd scream it out loud. <laughs> Everything about it, like every time I talk about it, like you could probably see me throughout this entire video and I'm like, Oh my bad. Don't have a t-shirt of blur or even blades. I need to go to Redbubble and change that because I really want a t-shirt with blades on it. Or blur. Like all of them. Like, give me one of each. I think I rambled on enough about my love for Skip. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Let me know what other TF topics you'd like me to talk about in a TF Chats video. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Love you guys. Bye.